Well, it's a rainy day, but DHL still came through. They delivered a small package from China. And it says DJI on it. And lo and behold, it contains this new Spark, the DJI Mini Drone, and a number of accessories with it. So first I'll go quickly through what it comes with and then we'll try to get the thing working at some point. But uh, I'll be traveling to New York for the launch probably before I do much flying. So as you can see over here, it comes with the uh, power supply and that also has USB ports. The power supply plugs into this battery charger which has slides in here for three different battery so you could charge three spark batteries the battery slides off pull these two tabs slide the battery off and the battery will slide into any of these slots here like that and we should be able to see of course the lights are charging so the battery is charging off of that uh, on the other side of this charger, there's a mini USB port. This may be for just power takeoff, or it may be that you're able to charge these batteries in a pinch uh, through mini USB. We'll have to find that out when we get a hold of some paperwork. So that's your basic power supply and your battery. When the battery's pulled, there's a little bit of a hint as to what's going on with this drone in terms of how it's controlled because there's a uh, tab there that um, has a Wi-Fi SSID tag and a password so uh, apparently it's a Wi-Fi machine because it's got all the information just like a lot of your small Wi-Fi gadgets do but obviously we'll try that out as soon as possible at first glance it's hard to see where the uh, card is or where you connect to the drone in other ways, but this little thing that says spark on the rear here It just is a small rubber Tab that opens up and inside there you see the micro SD card and we see another what looks like a Micro USB connector. So those are on the rear of it Four brushless motors the gimbal is here it uses a propeller system, folding system, very similar to the uh, DJI Mavic. They push on and they twist and lock into place. The Spark also comes with prop guards, which are very easy to put on. You put them on from the bottom, you twist them, and you lock them into place. And now you've got a propeller guard so it's obviously designed for safety they're quite heavy duty uh, the unit itself also seems quite rugged of course time will tell the note also that the prop guards are marked with a white dot or a white square just like the propellers have the white circle so you do have to use the proper prop guard for the particular arm and propeller that you're working with and when your battery is fully charged it's time to pull it out and insert it into the spark. And there's an on off button on the rear. I assume we can just turn it on this way. Um, not going to be, be able to do any flying now because I don't have it connected to anything. So, so we haven't mentioned what type of obstacle avoidance and um, artificial intelligence or anything else built into it because. We really don't know. We have an area here in the front of plastic, which there appears to be somewhere between one and three cameras or infrared sensors behind. We have the regular gimbal camera. And then on the bottom, there is a series of two dots, that, the larger ones that seem to be infrared. And then the very small unit on top of the triangle there it appears to be a camera. So maybe it has optical and infrared on the way down. Again, we'll find out these details on Wednesday. That's the basic mechanics of the DJI Spark for you in terms of the power supply, the way uh, the unit is set up. As far as operation, 
That's something we're going to have to try once we figure out how to hook it up to our mobile phone or perhaps it works even with the Mavic or other controllers. This is something we'll all see soon enough. 